In this video, we're going to debunk the 10 most common back pain myths. Hi, my name is Stuart, and today we're going to talk about back pain myths. A lot of people think they know what's causing their back pain, but a lot of the time they're wrong. We're going to dispel some of the most common myths about back pain and show you how to fix it for good. So stay tuned. It's easy to see why some people might be persuaded by outdated back beliefs, which may have become established before our understanding of the problem evolved. Many of these myths make you feel like someone needs to fix the problem, but in many cases, with a better understanding, you can fix it yourself and save your time and money. Myth number one is that lower back pain is usually a serious medical condition. Living with chronic back pain can be incredibly difficult. It can make it hard to perform everyday activities, can interfere with sleep, and can cause emotional distress. But it's important to remember that chronic pain is not a life-threatening medical condition. While it can significantly reduce quality of life, it is not fatal. There are many treatments available that can help to manage chronic pain, and it's important to work with a physio to find the best approach for you. Myth two is that lower back pain will become persistent and deteriorate in later life. Lower back pain is a common condition that affects people of all ages. While it can be debilitating, most episodes of back pain improve over time and the condition does not typically get worse as we age. There are a number of things you can do to help manage your back pain, including exercises to strengthen the muscles around your spine and simple lifestyle changes such as avoiding long periods of sitting or standing. With proper management, you can generally expect your lower back pain to improve and prevent it from getting worse as you age. Myth three is that persistent back pain is always related to tissue damage. For years, scientists have been trying to understand the causes of persistent pain. Is it primarily due to tissue damage or is there something else going on? Recent research has shed new light on this matter and it turns out that a number of psychological factors are more strongly associated with lower back pain than tissue damage. These include a negative mindset, fear of avoidance behavior, negative recovery expectations, and poor pain coping behaviors. In other words, the way we think and feel about our pain can have a profound impact on how long it lasts. This is good news because it means that we have more control over our pain than we might have previously realized. And so by changing the way we think about our pain, we can significantly reduce its intensity and duration. Myth four is that scans are always needed to detect the cause of lower back pain. There is no denying that living with back pain can be unbearable. The constant ache and stiffness can make it difficult to perform even the most simple tasks, and the fear of flare-ups can lead to a life of constant worry. However, it is important to remember that scans are not always accurate in determining the prognosis of an episode of back pain. In fact, studies have shown that scans often fail to improve clinical outcomes or reduce the likelihood of future back pain disability. While they may provide some peace of mind, it is important to remember that they are not always necessarily helpful in managing pain, and more often than not, they'll find things that actually aren't related to your pain. Instead, focus on other treatment options, such as moving more, sitting less, and better coping strategies. These have all been found to be more effective in reducing pain and improving function. Myth five is that pain related to exercise and movement is always a warning that harm is being done to the spine and a signal to stop or modify activity. Graduated exercise and movement in all directions is safe and healthy for the spine. The spine is designed to move and staying in one position for too long can lead to stiffness and pain. So regular movement helps keep the spine flexible and strong, reducing your risk of injury. In addition, Graduated exercise helps to increase blood flow to the spine, delivering essential nutrients and oxygen. And this can help speed up the healing process if you've already suffered an injury. Finally, movement in all directions helps to prevent imbalance and keeps your muscles evenly toned. So next time you're feeling stiff, take a break and move your body in all directions. Myth six is that lower back pain is caused by poor posture when sitting, standing and lifting. Experts have long suggested that maintaining good posture is essential for preventing lower back pain. However, recent research has refuted this theory. They found that there's no correlation between posture and the incidence of lower back pain. In other words, whether you sit up straight or slouch when you're sitting, standing or lifting, 
doesn't seem to make a difference in your risk of developing low back pain. This is surprising news for many people who've been diligently trying to improve their posture in order to avoid pain. The worst posture is the one you spend a lot of time in. So instead of worrying about your posture, you're far better off focusing on how much you're walking each day and taking breaks from your desk at least every 90 minutes to get yourself a drink and keep your muscles moving. The easiest way to track your daily physical activity is to track your steps using your phone or one of the many devices out there, such as a Fitbit, and aim for at least 7,500 steps a day. Myth seven is that lower back pain is caused by a weak core muscles and having a strong core protects against future back pain. This is a common misconception that a weak core is the cause of lower back pain. In fact, some research suggests that people with lower back pain tend to over tense their abdominal and other trunk muscles. While it's important to keep your trunk muscles strong, it's also helpful to relax them when they aren't needed. This can help you to relieve tension in the lower back and reduce pain. Additionally, it is important to stretch the muscles of the lower back and hips. This can help you to improve your flexibility and range of motion, which can also reduce pain. By understanding the true cause of lower back pain, you can take the steps to relieve your pain, live a healthier, happier life. Myth eight is that repeated spinal loading results in wear and tear and tissue damage. Spine movements is essential for overall health and well-being. It helps to keep the spine healthy and helps build structural resilience. When spine movement is graded, it means that the person is able to move their spine in a controlled way without overstressing it. This type of movement is safe and helps build strength and flexibility in the spine. It's important to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity of the movements as your body becomes used to them. Spine movement and loading is an important part of a healthy lifestyle and should be incorporated into your daily routine. Myth nine is that pain flare-ups are a sign of tissue damage and require rest. Anyone who's ever lived with chronic pain knows that flare-ups can be unpredictable and frustrating. You might be having a good day only to be brought down by a sudden increase in pain. While it can be tempting to attribute these flare-ups to structural damage, the reality is that they are often more closely related to changes in activity, stress, and mood. This doesn't mean that structural damage isn't a factor, but it's important to understand that pain is a complex issue with many different contributing factors. By understanding the role that these factors play, you can be better prepared to manage your pain and reduce the frequency of the flare-ups. Myth 10 is that treatments such as strong medications, injections and surgery are effective and necessary to treat lower back pain. Back pain is a common problem that can have a big impact on people's lives, but there's good news. Effective care for the back pain is relatively cheap and safe. This includes education that is patient-centered and fosters on a positive mindset and coaching people to optimize their physical and mental health. For example, engaging in physical activity and exercise, social activities, healthy sleep habits, body weight, and remaining in employment are all important. The bottom line is that effective back pain care can help people get their lives back on track. So if you're experiencing back pain, don't despair, there is help available, and we'll be covering exactly what that is in the next videos.